Throttle body injection, you got two injectors. This is my reply from my start and stall. Still working on it, but now we have new injectors though we can try. Another thing I was thinking, I would swear one of these wires, it wiggles. These are grounds, one of these are grounds for the engine coolant temp sensor. And now that I'm thinking if it has a poor ground, you know, when things heat up, maybe it expands and you lose connection. Because when these, this sensor actually broke off in Manhattan many, 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 many years ago. And man, this thing ran funny. It barely made it home. Then it broke off of my truck too. You just hit them a little bit when you're working on these things. They snap right off. You glue them back together and work for a couple days. So you can get a new one as soon as possible. Uh, yeah. So I was thinking that maybe the ground is bad. I do have better connectors, like a GM uh, eyelet instead of these crappy ones. I have ones that support the wire and support the bare copper. So I should really find those and uh, install that. I have to rule that as well. But the, it does smell more gassy than my truck does. I don't know, it's hard to say. The heat soaks, that's what it is. If the engine does not get super hot underneath the hood, it will not stall. It won't do it in northern Florida. We drove this car to Daytona in like, I don't know when that was, 2010 or 11. Did not do it. Whole time it was up there. Came back here. It was a lot cooler up there. Here, five hours south of there. Very, 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 very hot. So I was thinking that. I don't really like that when it's wiggling. I'm trying to see if I can even pull it out. It might be. Should probably just open it up and uh, clean up the copper and crimp new ends. So I might do that now. I don't know. Never put tools on top of your battery because it crosses. Don't do that. Yeah, you see if I wiggle it, this wire over here is not really meshing with the rest of it. So I'm going to open it up. I have some better connectors in there. Trick. I really got to do this stuff live. Um, when you want to save your wires because the wires are already short. Get yourself a small pair of uh, cutters and just keep cutting that connector a long ways where that little slit is and it'll pop loose. Then you can save your wires. You won't have to trim them back. It takes a long time. Some people go, oh, I'll just cut it shorter. I don't do that. But yeah, it didn't definitely uh, came out pretty damn easy. And we'll definitely save this because we can use it again. I'm crazy. <laughs> need one of those Packard crimper things. What I'm using. It looks horrible, but it's actually on there better than what it was. So now we'll just clean up the area. Coated with dielectric grease. Now, I don't know. Let's see if that does anything. It probably was going to fail in the future, so hey. If it doesn't... The camera's done. Damn, nothing. I'm trying to get a little, uh, Marco. <laughs> One of those seasoned people are gonna crawl up into there. No, we had a, uh, what the hell is that? No, I thought we ran over something. Had a cat running around here. It probably was one that got that bird. I don't know where little Hoppy went, but he was flying. was flying around. I think it's a black cat that keeps creeping around. He needs to be relocated. So, if I can get him, he's going across the street. But, no customer.